Everybody knows about them? Oh. No. So let me introduce first, let me open it by introducing you all to Koji Ikimatsu. He is the highest paid network marketer in Japan, by large and by far, any other network marketing company. He gets paid about $400,000 a month. And that's when uh, Super Lutein was the only product with Natural Plus. Now there's two products. And can you give me the product, please? Yes. Super Lutein and Isamil are now, there's two products with Natural Plus. So he's by far the highest paid in Japan. So let's, please, give us a warm, give him a warm welcome. Let's welcome. So I, I had nothing 
I lost it everything again and then, then by then I was introduced uh, some network marketing uh, which was a new scheme maybe you know a friend of mine introduced me and I knew about this company uh, and uh, I was introduced a few times before then so but uh, I was not interested in uh, network marketing like a lot of Japanese have uh, kind of like negative feelings toward network marketing so I was like that but then uh, I since I didn't know what to do or I didn't have anything else to do so I studied about it and uh, my kind of like negative feelings was washed away and then I was thinking deeply mm -hmm. and this may be a good opportunity for me. So I was studying about a lot other network marketing as well because I didn't want to just do new skin because I, into, I was introduced. You know, since I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I am a businessman, sure. so I wanted to compare what is the you know, uh, advantage of uh, new skin. So I tried to compare with other different companies. Then I find it out that there was uh, another network marketing called uh, New Ways. That's right, New yeah. Ways. So I thought by then, then, about 10 years ago, by then, New Ways had more opportunity than uh, New Skin. So I studied the New Ways for about a year and a half. And I was doing okay. I, I tried hard, I worked very hard, and uh, I earned about, about 2 million yen a month. So which is about what? 20,000 20, US. 20 to 30,000 dollars a month. Uh, but about a year and a half, I had the feeling because uh, I cannot introduce other people because uh, you know network marketing is like asking your friends to do the business together, and I became you know I was a little bit successful. You know, I was doing okay, but uh, the friends I Ask you know to join with me. Nobody made the money, mm -hmm. and sort of like they get a lot of stocks and uh, they cannot continue. So new ways at <clears throat> that time had a lot of products. Oh yes, uh, a lot of products. Sure, maybe over like fifty products or so. Yes. And somehow I find it out there's uh, difficulties doing the business in new ways. I was okay but everybody else wasn't so I couldn't start asking more other friends. Mm -hmm. Then I kind of like quit. I started other uh, business uh, which is not MLM. Uh, I'm, uh, I was, since I was doing the garment business I was also doing kind of like production business. So I was more concentrated on that. But then the things didn't go well. And uh, my life goes down again. And, and then uh, six or eight months before. Eight months after? Uh, about, about, I think about a year later, the Asaba-san introduced you to Nashville. Yeah, that's very close. And actually, I was not sure that this could be a good opportunity because this is only one product by then. And uh, he said, uh, oh, you know, this product is good for the eyes, you know. And I have no problem with my eyes. <laughs> so, has not, you know, <clears throat> it has nothing to do with me. So, I, at the beginning, I said, no. Very strongly, I said no. But uh, Asaba-san is uh, 
kind of very passionate person. Uh, frankly speaking, he was very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Kept coming back and asking me to do so. But anyway, this one product, uh, only like $100 US, one product. How can we make a lot of money out of this? And, but he, he was kept coming back and, you know, so I said, okay, don't come, I will sign up. <laughs> Just like that. And, and then after a few, year, uh, few, few days later, he asked me to come to seminar. So I went there, you know, I, actually I was not so interested in, but I, I went there and I actually I saw something which I shouldn't have. Which you shouldn't have. <laughs> I mean, I, actually I was lucky to see that, but anyway. Uh, some Japanese ladies who seems would never be able to success succeed, I mean, you know, I mean, very, very normal Obachan. Uh, you can't imagine how they could succeed. And for those Obasan was earning more than uh, 10,000 US a month, a month. And I was amazed if they can make money, <laughs> why couldn't I? And also, if they could earn money, I could, you know, my friends who could not be successful in new ways, all of them could be successful. You know, there must be some opportunities there. So, so that's, that was the time I really decided to move into this business. And incidentally, uh, Izumio is relatively new to Naturally Plus, coming out this year in April. Um, for the five or six years that Koji's been around, there's only been one product. And with that one product, you were able to earn a lot of money, earn a lot of money and actually bypass a lot of network marketers that have been in Japan a lot longer than he has with his earnings, with just one product. I think that says a lot about the product itself. Oh, yes, uh, well, actually, I was not, I, I had no problem with my eyesight. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, actually, I let my family, my mother and father and my sister, try this. And uh, they had about 20 to 30 minutes later, they could feel something different. You know, they said, like, it's brighter or you can see it more clearly, something like that. And, uh, you know, that's, this is uh, nutritious food, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, supplement. That's right. It's not medicine. That's so, right. actually, it shouldn't happen like that. But anyway, they had uh, some, uh, something must be good and uh, fast, you know, reaction. So, I think, that could be interesting because, uh, you know, there's uh, so many people who have uh, trouble with eyesight in Japan. I, I kind of like studied about, I, I tried to find out how many people has the problem in Japan. They said it was about 90 million, hmm? 900 million. Hmm? Nine, not 900 million, maybe 90,000. 90,000. 90 million? No, 90 million people has a problem with the eyesight in Japan, which is about 80% of Japanese population. Okay, so that's right, because there's about 100 million in Japan. So, I figured, oh, no, big market could be, you know, could be a good opportunities. So, at the same time, you know, I saw this Obasan, old lady, uh, getting successful with the business and a uh, lot of market needs are there, I thought. So, 
That was six and seven years, uh, six years and seven months ago, right? And that was uh, at that time. At that time, this company's turnover was only about what four million US a year. A year. And today, and today is about hundred times more, which is amazing, you know, with only one product. So that means there was uh, there was the market needs. And just for um, in, <coughs> for um, us, could you talk a little about the struggles that you had with talking with people, the ups and downs of the business? Oh, there, there's there's some oh, yeah. people in here that, that are into the business and definitely going through the ups and downs. I'm sure there's a lot more downs. So oh, maybe yes. you can tell, talk a little about it. Well, anyway, this, that's, that's kind of my profession, you know. Uh, I have studied like, like 17 years ago when I lost it so much of the you know, things and uh, the money and everything. I studied about what's the difference between people who are successful and who cannot be successful. What's the difference, you know? Is it because my education or because my race or because my abilities, age, you know, things like that. What was your answer? What did you find? I studied, well, you know, I actually I put more than $300,000 US dollars worth of money into studying about this. And uh, only one answer is that's that has nothing to do with it. The, the, the successful people and not successful people. The difference is the way how you think. It's thinking. It's how you think only. Because the how you think makes how you move. And how you move, uh, how, how do you take action? becomes a kind of like customs, mm -hmm. then you get the results. That makes too much sense. Yeah, well, actually you are here today, but only reason you are here today is maybe because you might be able to achieve what you get, what you want, to, you know, uh, you think that way. Otherwise, a lot of people Maybe you ask to come, but they say, oh, I'm too busy, or sure. I, I, you know, if they think they, have, they don't have the, the chance or opportunity or ability to get what they want, they would never come, they would never take actions, you know, it's wasting the time, wasting their time. Mm -hmm. So, how you think is based on what? kind of action you take. So, anyway, uh, of course, once you start doing something, something new, uh, it doesn't, your success doesn't come right away. You, know? <laughs> of course, you have to go through many troubles, problems, uh, uh, difficulties, uh, but you know, there's always the way how you get clear of the problems, how you achieve. What you want is there, what you are is here. And you have to kind of climb the mountains. And uh, there, there, there's always a way. And I'm teaching uh, a kids how to uh, get what you dream about. Uh, I'm telling them is sort of like failure is not the opposite word of success. I said failure is necessary, necessity, whatever, That's uh, right. necessity. To, to get to achieve success. And that, that bears writing down, I guess. Uh, but, um, well, well the, the, the important thing is the successful people is um, 
successful people is has experienced much more failure than uh, not successful, unsuccessful people. That's something you should know. And having read um, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich Myself, and having read your book as well, um, how you distribute it to uh, many of the, your downline and many people that you sign on, I've actually taken that, that route myself and mm -hmm. done the same thing. But there was one statement that I remember in that book, and it said that at the formula, who was it? Um, Thomas Edison, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. said that success, no, it was um, Henry Ford, okay. said success is 1% uh, luck, 99% perspiration. Well, uh, Edison. 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 No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of mentions of, oh, yes, a lot yeah, of uh, yeah. quotes in that book. That's right. Yes, it was Edison, I guess. But uh, I, I felt that then definitely someone like yourself and Edison and Ford, and we read about them in the book. Well, well they went through quite a lot. Okay, the important thing is you have to know the that's that's the key word of success. You know, you have to persistently never give up, continue doing one thing, uh, and then eventually you achieve what you want. Uh, successful people never give up. And the failure, I mean, people who quit never achieve what they want. Sort of like winners never quit, quitters never win. That's something. right. But, but. Also, there's one more thing, uh, which is um, ability is how you think, okay? how you think, but income is what kind of system you get. Okay? No matter how high ability you have, but if you are fixed in the one system which cannot earn the money, if you stick there, you, no matter how how good you are, how better you are, you cannot find. Because my ability is not different from uh, maybe 10, 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, maybe slightly better. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what I did in new ways, I put myself into so much and I earned about three. $30,000 a month. And what I'm doing is same thing in Natural Plus, but I get ten, more than 10 times. I can do 10 times. So, how you think is the, the key, but uh, what you choose is what you get. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes a little sense. Tell, tell us a little about um, where you are today. And what, what your, basically your daily existence is, what do you do? <laughs> what, what I do? Uh, first two years with Naturally Plus, I really worked hard to spread my groups. Uh, you know, I sponsored my friend that I tried to uh, get more groups. Mm -hmm. and I was working on it. I tried to bigger my income uh, for two years. But last uh, four years, four and a half years, I'm not doing that for, you know, I, I, I don't do that anymore. Uh, for example, like I come here today, you know, I, I spend my money to come here. <laughs> uh, actually, if you become successful, or any one of you, uh, you know, I try to work hard on the natural class, mm -hmm. but my income doesn't change. <laughs> um, it doesn't go up, but it doesn't go down, mm -hmm. whether you do or you don't. So. Um, Last four years, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not doing for money because it's 
already my income is kind of like secure. Yes. Okay. I have uh, enough money. Mm -hmm. All I worry about is the tax. <laughs> <laughs>
which is the charity. That's what I studied. Sure. Sure. Uh, so I figured out after that, I tried to do that. And also, I studied about the Napoleon Heroes. And it seems like similar things were the same. So, uh, whatever my incomes, I'm uh, trying to pay, use something for other people. Give something back. No, uh, sure. uh, anyway, in Japan, because the tax is high, I can't pay 10% back. But, uh, uh, at least I, I set, set myself 3% of my income to be used for the charities and I was doing it because this is, I figured, I, after I studied about it, I, I figured this is kind of like a universal um, rules, you know, something like that. Principles. Yeah, principles. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, you know, like, you say give and take. Sure. You say give and take. But I see a lot of people, they don't actually do give and take. Most of the people are take and give. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's kind of like yeah reverse ways. And uh, somebody give something, then I have to pay back, something like that. Everybody's way of thinking is like that. And that's why a lot of people, they can't live the way they want to. That's, that's something I find out. But actually, the universal principle is give and take. Because in Japan, you know, the exit, we said, daily guchi. Exit. Mm. Exit. Okay. We, we call. Even in Japan, it says this is exit. Okay. And this means out, in. This is this this means out. And this is in. They don't say ibideguchi. Yeah. Sure. So out first. Out first. Out first. Yeah, because you know, you, in Nagoya, I don't know, but uh, if if this is not the uh, universal principle, the other way around, you go to Shinjuku rush hours. If it's in and out, everybody gets fighting you know? <laughs> <laughs> because you can't get in. You know, too many people. Yes. Yeah, you have to go out fast mm -hmm. and in. Everything is the same. You know, breathe out and breathe in. When the kids are born, start out and in. This is universal principle. You have to give first. That's something very important thing that I learned. So, if you decided to out, like you know, like charity, uh, helping other people first, then things start getting wrong. That's that's something I really start study, I mean, I learned and uh, I experienced it because since I started giving more, the coming back is much, much more. Well, that's, that's, um, that's definitely enlightening, I think, a piece of wisdom for all of us. Well, um, definitely a great piece. But um, we've got a few minutes and I'm going to open the floor to any questions that anyone would like uh, to ask. But before we do, um, network marketing, um, when you first approached network marketing, um, you said that he was like, not so interested, am I right? Mm, yes. It was, uh, Indeed, yeah. was, it new, I, was it new to you at the time? Or? Uh, no, I had a uh, lot of rumors about network marketing. And, uh, I've seen some of my friends were doing work marketing and nobody succeeded and uh, kind of like people are like jumping this you know one day they said this is great and next day 
it was so bullshit and this is much better and, you know things like that happens you know kind of like people are the the person who are doing the network marketing was not so um, respectable for me so that was that was the image that I had Well, I want, to, I want to thank you for giving us some highlights and uh, a little brief about yourself. If there's anyone that have any questions, coach. <laughs> Did you? My, I, I think my kind of, you know, my talk was uh, quite, it, it has nothing to do with... That. That's fine, that's fine. The whole idea, um, I think, in getting uh, you on this video was to hear your story, how going from um, you know humble beginnings to where you are today. And, and, I mean, even though your business, you had some success in your own business, I mean, I think quite a lot of success, and you had a lot more success in your business than I had in mine when I was publishing in Alaska. But still, um, you saw the bottom, you actually oh, hit the bottom, and even below bottom. <laughs> <laughs> And I understand that. And uh, getting to that point and looking at a network marketing business and being skeptical of a network marketing business and being uh, constantly uh, approached by your friend about it and to a point where he was, okay, I'll do it. And you're saying, okay, I'll do it. But taking time to investigate and research yourself about what success what made successful people and what made unsuccessful people. I think that was the highlight, but that is definitely the highlight of this, this video of hearing um, how you got to where you are today, earning well, Yozeman a month. Uh, how do you say that in Japanese? Yozeman yo, 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 a month. And, you know, that's, that's a salary that most businessmen that work for 20, 25, 30 years they don't make it upon retiring. I mean, they've never made it and won't make it when they retire. So it's very interesting to hear that story, which is why I wanted to set that up. Well, I, I want to, I would like to uh, tell everyone yeah, about the, 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 this few points that you have to understand when you do, well, especially in the network marketing. But uh, actually, doing any kind of business is the same, and uh, it's, you know, uh, the, the the important thing is, a lot of people try to go quality than quantity, and which, especially especially in the network marketing, don't try to go for the quality. You gotta go for. The and when you say don't go for the quality, are you talking about the people? People are trying to think, okay, I have a, many friends. Okay, he may be good, she is not so good. Oh, I see what you're saying. He has a lot of, uh, you know, friends. Uh, maybe he doesn't, you know, something goes like that. So try to get the better quality ones. But then this is the big mistake. You, yeah. say, you have to go for the quantity. Yes, I've heard it put something like everyone is a car just to be flipped and to be given that opportunity. That's right. That's right. Whether you would think that they're capable of it or they can do it, they're just a car to turn over and you give them that chance. And that's you know, effort. talking to, you know, since because this is a business, you have to, you have to get more experience and you have to be able to talk to your friends and sometimes you may have to experience, uh, I mean explain the uh, products or plans or the business itself or maybe you talk about your dreams but you know it takes, it takes sometimes to be able to talk, I mean or, or pass the message to your friends, the, actually, what you want to really talk about. Mm -hmm. 
So, but you know, so you you have to try a few times to get used to it. And um, you know, how you talk like this, you talk like that. I mean, it's kind of like uh, I don't want to put the words on technique, but uh, it does have a skill. How you talk, sure. I would think that they're, I mean, you're not just going to say, uh, you're going to do this, <laughs> you're going to show some anger, I mean, you're definitely going to be inviting and friendly. So, like, if you talk to many people, you start getting used to, the, you know, how, how you talk. Uh, if you talk this way, maybe this person didn't understand, but if you talk this way, you know, more understandable, and you can see what, you know, there's, there's so many people, you want to do something like this. She doesn't want to do this, but she wants to do. She's interested in this kind of thing. That's something you have to be able to feel. You know, uh, kind of. This this is like, you know, the communication business. What you need is you have to be able to sense what the person you are talking about is really want sure. and is she interested in is this person interested in what you're talking about the products it does this person uh, interested in the products or this person is interested in the opportunities or this person may be interested in uh, helping other people something like that you, know, you have to be able to sense and in order to do so you really have to talk to many many I once heard it put that it's like a listening skill. Uh, you have to listen to hear what uh, that person you're talking to is interested in. Other than that, you're talking past the person or you're talking through the person. But definitely, it's a it's a listening skill. I think. Indeed, uh, listening. Well, the uh, the principle is everybody. People are not interested in you. <laughs> okay? okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody's most interest is myself. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Actually, so I'm talking about a lot, lot of things about me, but basically they're not so interested in me. Mm -hmm. But they're interested in themselves. Sure. So how can we relate? Focus on them. Okay, uh, what they're interested in, what they want, what, you know, uh, and just ask them, you know, what they want and uh, put more interest on to you. That's what I heard. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. I think, Bonnie, you had uh, a list of questions. Can you, can you just give him one of them? And maybe we can pass them around as someone else has some of those questions that you had. Okay, I'll just read off head some mm -hmm. of the things I, sure. I thought about. Now, um, I'm new to this mm -hmm. and I kind of get the sense that you really have to be a people person because I think Japan the market in Japan, the people in Japan, um, there's a barrier you need to pass to be able to, you know, um, to get through to the people. There's a natural barrier in Japan. So it makes it a little more difficult. So being a foreigner and what are the skills you need to be able to break through that barrier, to be able to talk? No. To the Japanese? Yes. Definitely language is one, huh? <laughs> okay. As you have to overcome that, mm -hmm. so what next? What is the next step? Well, um, let's see. Uh, once you talk to Japanese people, uh, well, first of all, let's put it this way. Um, you think you, you have kind of barrier for foreigners, which is disadvantage for the foreigner in, in Japan. But for us, like Japanese, we have other ways to see the 
foreigners, you know, the, the, for example, like, a lot of Japanese people are kind of like, you know, they don't speak English, so they kind of like admire the English speakers. So, they, will, they always want to have the opportunities. They, they always would love to have opportunities to have a friends, foreign, foreigners, friends, foreign friends, yeah. Uh, which is, which could be your advantage, you know. So, you know, being, but Japanese people are mostly very shy. So they can't not approach from, Jap you know, on this side. From their point. Yeah. So you could be, if you could be friendly, you know, talking to them, uh, and, you know, uh, then, I would say, much easier, much easier than me approaching to the Japanese people to become a friend. So you think it's a little easier for foreigners to approach? Oh yes. Than the and I've heard that. That's, well. that's one thing. That's one thing. And, uh, and of course, from there, once you get to know each other and trying to uh, let them know the opportunities about the business, I would say the best thing is to, once you become a light friend, okay, and ask them to help you. Okay, because I have some, you know, I have some business opportunities, but because I'm foreigner and I don't exactly understand uh, what it is. So, can you please come with me and help me whether it is, uh, you know, really an opportunity for me or not, you know, can you check with me, something like that. It would be easier for you to say than me. Because you speak yeah. Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they, even the Japanese people would say the same thing, because, you know, uh, asking, you know, asking the friend to check with me, because I'm not sure. If you think this this is a good opportunity, then I want to do it. So can you double check with me? Something like that. Right. So, even the Japanese will say that. For you, it's maybe easy. You know? Oh, please help me. You know, give me some time. Instead, maybe I teach you some English. <laughs> so, like that. But uh, we want to focus as well um, on the fact that this is. Um, the juncture at which Naturally Plus goes English speaking. So there is that opportunity as well. Um, we don't have to just exclude foreigners. We don't have to just uh, be particular to Japanese people. But there is a broader market as well. Or should I say there's um, more open opportunities for English speaking people. But that is definitely a good question. Uh, yeah. But well, in Japan, the population is more Japanese. So sure. Oh, yeah. Very few foreigners. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so definitely. I, I think I think that's one way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Malcolm, you had a question. Back to you again. Back to you again. You said uh, you said uh, you lost everything. Yeah. Uh, you got that is from uh, grace to grass. You got nothing left. No money. So how do you pay your debt? <laughs> yeah, when there's nothing, you do nothing with money. How do you pay your debt? Okay. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> you worked, you worked. Okay. Uh, I lost. I totally lost everything. But I had a family by then. By then I had a family. You know, I was I, my wife. By then, I had a wife and two kids. The, the little one was just born, and uh, before then I had uh, six maids living together, wow. and, mm. and uh, four of them find their job, but the two couldn't find, so they stick me <laughs> stick around. And uh, yes, I my house was kicked out, and 
by then a friend of mine helped me to find a place to live and we moved there which was about uh, two, two, two bedroom, no living room, something like that, kitchen, something like that. <clears throat> so we couldn't buy the bed and uh, we put the newspaper on the floor and uh, slept there for a few weeks, something like that. Anyway, uh, like I said, at that time, I found uh, I found uh, this book for the Think and Grow Rich, and it said, first of all, it said the set the goal, set. That's the number one thing. Uh, precise goal. Is it the precise goal? Not that I just want to get rich yeah. or I want a house. Uh, how much? Yeah. By when? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And when do you want it? That's All right. right. And uh, plan. Make a plan. In order to do so, make a plan. And also, this is precise plan. And number three, it sets a formation. How do you a formation? O R M. A T I A. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's a formation? How would you explain that? Do it. <laughs> and do it. <laughs> <laughs> this this whole thing was the key was that they every books talk about the success, says all this, you know, this is the, this four biggest things. Uh, well, you understand, set the goal, plans, a formation is that they said you have to speak out your goals, you know, you have to put it in, in the world, and in the morning ten times, at night ten times, they say so. Mantra. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. Uh, well, actually, I did it. Okay. My goal was precise. I had the uh, $3 million debt. So, I, I pay back $3 million in five years' time. That was my precise goal setting. And I, I had no plans. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did was the affirmation. I said that, speak up. And at the beginning, you try. Once you try, I said like, oh, I'm going to return the three million dollars in five years time. I'm going to return the three million dollars in five years time. I feel like I'm so stupid. <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy to say such a thing because I don't even have a plan. <laughs> I don't know how. Seems like my all my friends, if I if they hear this, they they think I become crazy, <laughs> and I, I I feel so stupid. But then I had the the lucky thing was I had nothing else to do, so I had to I, I just kept doing it. I I did it more than a thousand times a day. I kept, you know, I was walking and saying it, you know, I'm going to return to reading. <laughs> I kept saying it, always saying it. Uh, you know, but, but what, what I want you to do is something like this, you know. Uh, can you put the arms like this? Can you try? Can you try? Yeah, yeah, putting the arms like this. And try opposite side. It's it's you you feel some, some strange feelings, right? It's this this is you know when you try something new, you always feel.
stupid or kind of like, you know, uncomfortable feeling. Sure. Very uncomfortable. Sure. Once you start doing this formation, very uncomfortable and you feel so stupid. But once it takes about three weeks to get used to it. Something, once you get the new customs, some, you try something new, it takes three weeks to get used to it. Like, you, you know, you brush your teeth every day, every morning maybe. And if you don't, you feel very uncomfortable, right? But letting your children learn how to brush the teeth takes time because they don't have the custom to brush the teeth. It's, it's like that, okay? People live on the custom, okay? Their customs. And the way you have built it last so many years, you have built it your own custom, your day-to-day -day customs, what time you wake up, what you do, you know, after, after work, what you do, everything is the custom. Something else you do, you feel very uncomfortable, so you stick on your customs. But your custom has made who you are and how much you make. Everything is what you have done in the prior time. And the, the good thing is, okay, good news is, you can build your new custom, own customs, okay? Uh, at the beginning, you have, you know, uncomfortable feelings. But after three weeks time, it becomes quite natural. And once you want to achieve, uh, you want to live your dream life or whatever the life you want to achieve, get how much you want to make money, how many weights you want to put on, uh, how he healthy uh, you want to live, how you want to look, everything you can set the goal and you start doing the new customs and maybe two years, uh, one year, two years, three years time, you will achieve what you want because that's how the principle of the universe goes. It's, it's very simple. Do you recommend maybe a five-year plan? Five-year plans is, uh, yeah, indeed. In fact, what you should do is like long-term plan, mid-term plan, and short-term plan. Uh, long-term plan means five to ten years. Mid-term is three to five. Short-term is a million and one year plan. Okay. Uh, and then the ultimate, ultimate plan. Actually, this is the most important thing. Um, it's what I call is the vision. Kind of like wisdom. How you want to live your life. What kind of, I mean, how you want to live your life, for me, is how you want to die. It makes sense. Uh, because, you know, one thing for sure is we die anyway, eventually. And at the time, I lay on the bed, okay, at the time comes, how do I want to die? You know, that's, that's always I think about. I, I don't want to die with, the, you know, a lot of money I'm surrounded me. But uh, I want to die with a lot of people, friends, surrounded me and saying, Hey Koji, you know, thanks for you know, uh, being a friend. Uh, I, my life changed because of you. Thanks for being there, you know, something like that. That's how I want to die. Um, so in order to do so, what kind of life should I live uh, 10 years, 5 years, 3 years and in order to do so Natural Plus would it support the lifestyle itself or not? That's how you want to think, how I want you to think about it. You know, uh, in order to do so, how much uh, 
money you need to earn, uh, you know, something like that. And whatever you have, the, the dreams that you have, dream life you want to live, uh, is it what you are doing right now would support you to achieve your lifestyle? Or do you need to start something new? Or do you need to change your job? Do you need to change your wife? <laughs> you know, everything. <laughs> that, that's, that's what it is in, the, in fact. That's what it is. I, I divorced. I, I'm not recommending any one of you to get divorced because <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, getting divorced is, takes ten times more power than getting married. So <laughs> I don't I don't recommend you to get divorced. But but I made a big decision about 10, 12 years ago. I, I didn't want to live the way it, it is. So I gave everything and uh, myself I lost everything but I came back and uh, I wanted to live my dream life. And after that me and my ex-wife has much better relationship. Yeah, relationship. So which was okay, you know, uh, with my kids as well. Anyway, uh, I'm not I'm not here to recommend any divorce. <laughs> but the, the thing is, okay, you can live your life uh, as the way you really dreamed about, and that's I have taught so many friends of mine and so many people, and the, whatever they have done go through with the, the principle of the life, uh, they did, they are actually on the way to uh, live their own life with their dreams. Uh, I really believe you are born to live successfully, everyone it is. And you have a huge opportunities because you are not living in Philippines, you're not living in, uh, uh, you know, some third countries which uh, you have, you, even if you want to, but you cannot have opportunities. You have a lot, you know, every opportunity is you can, once you choose, once you decide, and once you uh, commit, to get what you want, you can do it. All you need is um, to learn, you know, basic uh, principles. That's right. And get the customs. Okay. A uh, lot of people. This is one one thing you should know. Uh, <coughs> this is. This goes like more important things at the top uh, and less important things. Okay. Uh, huh? Is it? Oh, yes. And this goes uh, urgency. This is more urgent. Less urgent. Mm -hmm. okay. People live, people do this always. Okay. Very important, very urgent things mm -hmm. they do. <coughs> okay. Like, for example, you go to work uh, because it's important mm -hmm. to support your life. And if you don't go today, you know. <laughs> 
and you may lose your job. So it's very urgent things, right? So you do that. And here is important, but it's not urgent things. Which is your health is important. So, but you know, you eat kind of uh, bad food, but you don't get sick right away. So you don't really care about the food what you eat or diet. You know, keeping the shape is important and keeping the health. But you know, it's not urgent. So eat a lot of sweet food. You know, a lot of food. Things like that. And also, it is important to save your money for future. But it's not urgent because it's, it's, you're talking about the future. So, you don't want to do it. You know, it takes time. And learning, like today's you know, things like this, it's important, but it's not urgent because you come here today, tomorrow you don't get rich. It takes time. So it's important, but it's not urgent. People live on this way. They do important and urgent thing. Next thing they do is less important, but more urgent things, which is you know, daily things, daily things. Um, going, meeting friends, drink, have fun, more or less like that. That's less important, but you know, because today, tonight, urgent, very urgent. And then number four is uh, less important, less urgent. No which is like watching TV. A lot of people live on this way. But successful people would go this way. Yeah. The most important and urgent things, once they finish, they go this way. Which always takes time. Uh, but uh, if you do important, less urgent things. Always do before less important, more urgent things. They would eventually achieve what they want. This is the customs you have to do. You have to learn. And this, these are number two. Important because it's your life. Okay, it is your life. It, it, it's not Dino's life. It's not my life. It's your life. How to achieve what you want is very important. But it takes time. It's not less, It's not urgent. Okay. So people put it away and say, "Oh, I do it someday. Well, I do it one day, uh, which never comes." So you have to do it today. And once it becomes a custom, because you always do this first, okay? uh, this getting less and less. So maybe today doesn't make a difference. Tomorrow cannot see the difference. But in six months later, a year later, slightly, gradually change and in three to five years time huge difference huge huge difference well I'm going to have to <coughs> stop you right there <laughs> I want to thank you for me. our time has come and um, we're going to close this time this video down right here but um, I'd like everyone to remain and stay come back we'll take about a five six minute break something to drink and come back. But please, let's thank Koji. Um, let's take a break.
Let's take a break. And any questions you have for Koji, I definitely need something to drink. Please. As Koji said, you have to change the thinking. And there's a lot of change that goes on with this. This is not sales. This is helping. Figure help health. We're helping people's health. We're helping our own health. And we're helping people's wealth as well as our own. There is an enormous opportunity here for the English-speaking community in Japan to take it outside. And so in that, you know, I thank Koji for coming out and sharing that because we have that opportunity to do that. And, you know, the, the opportunity presents itself in such a shorter time than what Koji did because it can step outside of Japan um, so much faster and so much more for more people outside of Japan than there is inside. Today, <clears throat> today is the first time for me to help the English seminar in Japan. Um, he's been asking me quite a long time to do this. But uh, I, I thought about two years ago or a year ago was a bit too early. A lot of people cannot wait for two years, three years, most of the people. But now, I think since uh, September is Hong Kong's opening. Opening day is September 8th in Hong Kong. And it's, which is about, what, uh, three months? Two months? Right. Two months? Two months. A couple of months. months. And after that, uh, Singapore, Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia will have within next year which market will offer. So for you, the English speakers, thinking about the targeting for outside of Japan, <coughs> I think about a one year time for the pre preparation. Uh, you could have it. Because it's going to be a huge opportunity. Uh, in Japan, yes, still a lot of opportunities. But uh, talking about outside of Japan, nobody knows about this product. Nobody know. Nobody is doing it. it means a uh, brand new market is opening and huge. So I think you could spend about a year to prepare for the big, kind of like biggest chance of your life there. I think you, you could, you know, uh, put your effort in there. That's why today I decided to come and uh, have the uh, English seminar. Uh, as he said, it is an opportunity. It is an opportunity. Like I said, <clears throat> I don't make money doing this today. Uh, but of course, even if you join or you don't join, my life doesn't change. So I'm not trying to push, I'm not trying to sell. But uh, I really appreciated the chance that I got in seven years, six and a half years ago. And uh, because I had a very, I was struggling with my life. I, I didn't know what to do. And, uh, I studied about uh, how to success, but I didn't have the opportunities to do what to do. So all I wish is trying to find, trying to meet the person like I was before looking for the opportunities, uh, looking for the chance. Uh, I want to, the person who wants to dedicate the time and the energy for changing the life into the way they really want to. Can I ask a question? Yeah. When you were doing this business, were you able to keep a regular job? Uh, yes, I have. Well, actually, my my case, I did I did not have the regular job, so I put hundred uh, percent in here. 
from the beginning. But I have uh, many friends who are doing the regular job and also as a side business doing natural class. And a lot of them, once they achieve like Hakumai a month, they shifted into uh, full time. But uh, yeah, I have a few friends who are doing, who are still doing the other business and uh, also side business with Naturally Plus, earning more than Nihakumai. <laughs> the side business makes about 10 times more than the regular business. But because they like what they do, so they keep the double income. <laughs> <laughs> also, one of the things that uh, when we are going to English speaking countries, when we are here in Japan, yeah. and we would, for instance, if we want to say maybe go to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and if a company naturally was able to sponsor our movement legally to, to do the, uh, the business from Hong Kong? Uh, excuse me. Uh, I think what she's asking is, does Naturally Plus um, uh, support work visas? So, oh, I see. No, I don't think so. That, that's very difficult. That is not feasible for us to be able to impact on foreigners if we are in Japan. Well, actually, um, there's a technology called internet. Yeah, and with the internet, we can have conferences. And if, in fact, you build up um, a large um, base here in Japan, and your base is large enough here in Japan, you can finance your own trip to Hong Kong. Uh, what I've started doing even this week, um, or should I say last week and yesterday, last night as a matter of fact, I'm talking to people in Hong Kong, just familiarizing myself with people in Hong Kong and Singapore. I was even talking to people in Australia. I use Skype and I've used Skype and I'm just conversating and uh, having conversations with these people. And, but the point I'm making is we can build a large group right here in Japan. We can build a, a large enough group. That you and I have met people in Indonesia. We have met people from Bangladesh. Last week we went to meet those people. And these people have their connections in these other countries. And I, they can go back to those countries. When the time comes, we can travel as well. I was talking to Koji today about Stuart. You know Stuart. He's in Australia. And I was talking to him about when he goes there, of course. Now, all I need is a tourist visa. <clears throat> I'll go there for a short time. And Stuart can set up a business. And then you can get a work visa. So you go and you can help your people grow in those countries and you can get a work visa up under the people that you're sponsoring. There, there's many different options. Maybe uh, what you should do is like if you have a friend or somebody who are uh, in let's say Hong Kong and you may not be able to go there but uh, like I go there. Mm -hmm. So tell them to come and meet me. You know, I, I would have a seminar there, uh, it's, which is open seminar, so you could invite anyone there and uh, I, I, well. could, I could talk instead of you as well. As so well. you have the information about where seminars are being Oh yes, definitely, sure, definitely, sure. Very, Very organized. Organized. Same, same thing in Japan, you know, if you have friends uh, in other uh, cities, you check, you check where the seminar is held and just send it. But at the, at the time, you have to be able to know who is having the seminar and what kind of person it is. And the best thing is ask your upline or ask me or somebody else to introduce this person to your friends. Yeah. So letting the speaker know this kind of person is coming, that what everybody does to me is like, they call me up and say, oh, Ikema-san, this kind of person is coming, okay, uh, he or she was doing their own business or other network marketing or, or never had the experience in this kind of business or whatever. 
giving me the information. So I know what to talk about. Yeah, that's that's kind of preparation as you should have always. You know, letting them know each other. And so then they get to know each other and they become friends. Even though you don't push, they you know, the person start the business. There are many different um, approaches of dealing with uh, people in other countries. Uh, Mokla, you were talking about the, uh, the conferences, and I started checking into that. Of course, there's Yahoo, and there's Skype, and it's, so, it's not difficult at all. I mean, the same cost of is a meal is probably less than the cost, I mean, uh, a little more than the cost of a camera that you can put with the computer, but uh, that's something I want to talk with you more about, because I see using any technology and anything at our availability, you know, can only expand the business and, and in our context in other countries. That's the, that's the advantage that, that we carry. So, um, yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> Think about it. Um, it's very unique. Um, what, what I wrote on the paper and what I say is that um, it's maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity because um, not many chances will you get to be able to get currencies from many different countries. Here in Japan, there's a, there's a vast um, assortment of many foreigners from many countries, and especially uh, now that uh, Naturally Plus is dealing just with the Asian hemisphere. Uh, for the next year or so, I think, am I right? They're talking Singapore, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia, Russia, Russia, maybe Korea as well. Okay, so that's this hemisphere, and there's many people in Japan that we can go to and talk to about health and wealth. Uh, and we're not selling them anything, we're just talking to them about health and wealth. And anyone that has an ear will hear. Uh, those that don't, of course, they'll decline, and that's fine. We flip the car, we turn it over. But the once in a lifetime opportunity comes when that person takes it back to their country and they realize they actually can see and digest that this is something that they can be one of the main people in their country with and they would be one of the first promoters in that country. Then, of course, that affects you. And if you're connecting with people in China and Russia and Australia, then my goodness, it becomes a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm telling you, most businessmen, unless he's a banker and speculating in currencies and the markets around the world, they don't come into contact like that. For sure, other network marketing companies don't offer that opportunity. A lot of them don't. Is the pricing the same if you want to sell in Singapore or you sell in $100? More or less, more or less. Uh, because it's based on based in uh, made in Japan, and the company is uh, trying to set the price with uh, within uh, uh, exchange risks, so slightly higher than uh, each mining, but uh, more or less the same. In Hong Kong, they are trying to sell about. 700 Hong Kong dollars, which is uh, about, about within 10 percent difference. I would think definitely keep it within a reasonable. Oh price. yes, De sure. Definitely. But of course, for like Malaysia, or you know, a hundred dollars. Is a lot of money. Mostly a lot of, a lot of money, of money for yeah. most of the people. For the exactly. But you know, like China or Russia, anywhere. Now, the, you're talking about averages here, but uh, there's always very wealthy people and very poor people. And for very wealthy people, each man does And basically, you have to target somewhere. You know, and, and one other thing is, even with, if it goes to these countries and you're dealing with uh, very rich people, 
these products, uh, you'll have to take it to just to, to realize just how good they are. Because um, once even a person that has making or is making a lot of money and he's rich, uh, they will tell other people about it because they will begin to recognize just how good the products are and they'll tell other people and even their rich friends will buy it. Uh, everyone wants health. Everyone wants to look young and feel young and, uh, with no pain. I mean, this is something that across the board all, all humans want is a life with no pain and we want, we want to feel healthy. The point I'm making though, excuse me, is that it will, by word of mouth, expand your business. Whether they're rich, medium, or if they're able to get it, they will talk about it. That's why this one product has made this man successful. Well, uh, talking about the new opportunities for the new countries, okay, what kind of people would be interested in for this kind of opportunity is mainly wealthy people, business person. Because they are very sensitive about the business opportunities. Okay, so even now, the Hong Kong and some other countries, a very successful business person are most really interested in this business. So that's why it becomes quickly, you know. So those people who are already succeeding. Uh, of course, they are, like, like I said, uh, very capable person. They know a lot of friends. So once it lands there, it will spread it right away. So that's why you have the opportunities. Uh, I tell you one uh, example. We have a friend. Uh, her name is uh, Kanasa. She used to live in uh, um, uh, somewhere in North, North America, uh, uh, not Toronto, Vancouver. Okay. And she was doing natural uh, newski. She, she was doing the business in, in Vancouver. And for like five years and she was getting about three, uh, 300 US, 300 dollars uh, to 500 dollars for five years. And New Skin decided to launch in Japan. So she stopped coming back to Japan, talking to the friends for a year, you know, nothing ha really happened. And and that's, you know, uh, three to five hundred dollars for a year. And once they open <coughs> in Japan, next month she get about uh, thirty thousand dollars. Next month after opening. So that's, that's what happens when the new market opens and you prepare about a year and after that she becomes she become like, uh, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 so it's a good chance it's a good chance and a lot of those stories are happening for you know, network marketing business but the good thing is, Natural Plus is uh, uh, Japan origin. And a lot of Hong Kong people, or Malaysia, Australia, and they are kind of like, they rely, they trust Japanese yeah, products. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, already in Japan, the products are proven, business are proven. Mm -hmm. So they are, that's why they are very excited and they really rely on the products and the business. Opportunities, chances are even more than coming from other countries.
one thing. I study about the successful people and the successful people. There, there, there's a, um, how do you call it? Um, the person who is uh, easier to be successful or more or less, more likely not success. I know you, understand, you know that. There's five five things. The kind of like bright person and depressed person. Which one is more likely to be successful? Right. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> of course. This is one. Okay. Number two. Person who are positive thinker or negative thinker, which one is more likely to success? Positive, positive right? Positive. Um, person who gives the reasons why they cannot do this. <laughs> and Person who don't say the reasons. Person who don't say the reasons. Okay. Well, put it, put it on uh, side. I, I don't want to use the negative words, but, mm -hmm. but uh, without reasons. Without reasons. Or iwakete. Four. Person who always talks something good about a person and we talk bad about a person, which one is more likely to be able to success? Yeah, talk good. Talk something good about other people, other person. <coughs> Thankful and not thankful. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows about it. So, this is five things. Uh, whoever has these five things is more likely to be succeeded, uh, successful. Uh, and the opposite side is more likely not succeed. The, the thing is, the uh, problem is, we all know about it, okay? but actually, how do you, do you, do you really always having this or not? How do you live? Um, okay, bad news is, the other side, we all have it as well. We are some, sometimes depressed, we are sometimes negative, we are sometimes giving the reasons why we can't do this, uh, we sometimes talk bad about other persons, uh, sometimes we cannot be successful. But on this, the good news is, we also have this setting. Because it's, a, it's like coins, you know, surface and the issue of backwards. Uh, we both have it. The thing is, we have to think about this side, okay? We have to know if I feel depressed, okay? Uh, we can change, shift, we can shift to the bright side. If, I, if, if we think about negative things, change it to the positive side. If we start talking about the you know reasons stop that and you know stop reasons you know oh, i i come late because the traffic jam and this and that stop saying it and say sorry you know that's it and trying to speak hey dino come on i don't then realize 
is such a positive person, energetic, something like that. Talk, talk about good. And, you know, uh, be thankful to other things or whatever we have right now. And all you have to do is realize what you're thinking. And if this side is more than 50%, you are more likely to be, you are ready to success be able to succeed and you know a lot of people don't realize which side you're and like like I said it's a custom okay once you become custom even if you don't realize you are always this side is uh, more more likely to this side of the person it is you know uh, you can get opportunities and also, there's, uh, have you heard of this glass? This is uh, brain system, uh, reticular activation systems, which is why you have to write the goals, you have to set the goals, you have to put your goal into your subconsciousness. Uh, <coughs> Have you ever experienced like you buy the car, you decide to buy this car, all of a sudden you see the same cars in the street? Have you experienced something like that? Mm -hmm. uh, that is not because you decide to buy a particular car and everybody else start buying it. No, it's been there but you didn't notice it. So you put your mind, you set the mind into certain things. You will, your, your reticular activation system will catch the necessary information, necessary person, opportunities to achieve what you want. And that's how the, your brain system goes. So it's very important, especially being positive, uh, no reasons, okay? Don't ask why. Don't ask yourself why, why I cannot do it. Because always your mind responds because that's the reason. Don't ask why, but ask how. How can I achieve that? How can I get more people? How can I be successful? How can I make other people understand? How means always find the way to you know the solutions. But why stops giving the reasons and stops there? Uh, it doesn't serve the problem. So asking how helps you find a solution. Or Asking how makes you find a solution. That's it. Yeah. What does RAS stand for? Reticular activation systems. That's the activation systems. That's the brain systems. Okay. Uh, brains, uh, nerve systems. Okay. Once you experience, once you see, everything is memorized. But because there's too many informations, uh, if you remember all the time you go crazy. So they put into kind of like stop, stop box. But reticular activation system will pull out. It's like search engine. Okay? You set the goal. Okay, I'm going to make $20,000 in six months. Okay? So that's the goal. If you put into your, your mind, uh, then the reticular uh, RAS will pull out the necessary information to make $20,000 in six months time. So you will be more sensitive for your opportunities. You know, a lot of people, <coughs> like I said, uh, give and take. Okay? A lot of people are take and give. Okay? They are waiting. They they're waiting 
for other people to make you successful or you know, waiting for other people giving something first but it's it's more or less like you know you're gonna buy the lottery if you win the lottery <laughs> after you win the lottery something like that you know you have to buy it first yes. mm -hmm. but everybody wants guarantee you know there's no guarantee you have to buy it first and unless you buy first you will never win it's the success is something like that as well you have to dedicate you have to put your energy you have to put your time you have to put your effort first mm. uh, you know that's people really don't understand you know, they, they need the result first they need the guarantee and no guarantee. All, only person you can guarantee your life is you. You cannot ask your company to guarantee your life. You cannot ask somebody else to guarantee your life. You cannot ask your husband, you cannot ask your wife to guarantee your life. You can guarantee yourself. That's not very difficult. One of my friends uh, was going to, uh, wish he had a cane, um, he was going to ask you specifically how you made that uh, money that you made. But I think um, the answer has already been said. Mm -hmm. said. Um, specifically, I think, what he's saying. Uh, okay, well, let me tell you what I did at the beginning. What I did was, uh, like I said, I knew the basic principles. So network marketing uh, is quantity, not the quality. That's what I knew. So I said fast, quick, uh, get more call quantities. So I decided to list it up, a bunch of people, and I decided to call my friend in one week. 500 people. I decided. Okay, well, I didn't have 500 friends, but I knew some people listed up. Okay, I knew the person who I meet in the gas station. <laughs> I knew someone who I buy the meat or some, something like that. I don't, not necessarily the friends. Uh, like I said, I need to practice how to talk as well. So I first called the someone I knew, but not a friend, someone who I don't give a shit about whether he does or not. But I, I needed to practice. Need so, to practice. Yeah. so I called up about 100 people every day for five days. And I called up 500. Uh, and the 450 people turned it down. <laughs> they said, who are you? <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> don't call me like that. Now, 450 like that. people turn you down. That would be pretty depressing. Oh, yeah. Well, if you think about it, sure. Okay. Uh, if you call, say, three person a day, and Three out of three turn you down. You're depressed for a whole day. Okay? But I had to call 100 people. 100 means I don't have the time to be depressed. <laughs> I kept calling. Yeah. Keeping myself busy. So at the end of the day, about 10 person said yes. Okay, I will help you. So, end of the day, I got 10 opportunities. I fo already forgot about 90 to turn, turn me down. That's right. Uh, so, th that's, that's important. That's important. You have to make it quick and quantities. So, but anyway, uh, 50 people said we'll sign up. 
And out of 50, 20 came to the seminar. And out of 20, 15 would do the business with me in one week. So that's how I started. That's how I started. And actually, nobody else had been turned down 450 person in one week. I have the most failure than anyone in naturally class in, in such a short period of time. That's why I become most successful <laughs> in naturally class. That's simple. Like I said, it's quite simple. And, but, but then, first month, you know how much I earned? Out of so much work in one week, after that I followed up 15 friends of mine who wants to do the business. I, I kept going and going and I was working like 24 hours for first one week, one month. And, and a month later I received money, right? After one, so second month, first time I received the money. The first month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, six months. Okay. At the beginning, when I decided I will do this business, I set the goal. Like, you know, my goal was uh, $100,000 a month in one year. So send my hundred thousand dollars. So in order to do so, I couldn't do the double work. So I put everything into natural press, 24 hours, really. Okay. So first month I received. First month means second month. Okay. I received your money. I said, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, you know. I put so much energy, so much time, so much work. What the hell is wrong with this company? I figured out, I, you know, if I do my garment business or production business or even new ways, at least I should have like Goju Mine. You know, even I am a beginner. But way less than 10%. So I was freaked out and God. But I said, okay, this, this must be something wrong. I will try one more month. And if I work one more month and I don't get Hakumani, maybe I quit. But uh, until then, I would do my, you know, best. So I even worked more harder, you know. Second month, I worked maybe 26 hours a day. <laughs> Second month, I received Juni money. <laughs> I was so knocked out. <laughs> In my whole life, I work, I've never worked so hard <laughs> and I dedicated all my energy, time, sweat, everything and, and okay so I said this is the last month I work one more month and, and then I will decide to continue or not so I kept going 28 hours a day. Okay. <laughs> my months. I said, quit! <laughs> no more! <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I really did. It's, it's not the business for me because uh, the Obasan was making Kyakumai. <laughs> and I worked so hard at Sanjo Kumai. I, I, I said, this is unfair. <laughs> so, uh, I had the other job, the production job. So, I had one month, I quit. Not, not quit, but I couldn't, I, 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 I went to 
uh, Hong Kong and some other countries and uh, shooting the video for some uh, famous artists. Uh, I was one month, I didn't do anything in natural class. So I came back. Somehow, I went to the bank. I didn't do nothing for one month, but uh, my income was 80 money. I was surprised. Okay. Oh, this business, if you work hard, you don't get much. And if you don't, you get more. <laughs> no, actually, first three months, I put so much energy. And uh, this means uh, third month there was about 500 people already were doing it. So once I didn't do that, already a few leaders were uh, working instead of me. So then I realized, oh, natural class really gradually grows. At the beginning it takes time, but after a while it starts expanding fast. So the first month I start working again, then 120 yen, 220 yen, Twelve months later I get the same So amazed. It goes like this. Like an airplane. And you have to know this one. Is everything you put, you do something, always delay. The result comes delay. Yeah, you need the lead time. Okay? Your effort is so high. At the beginning, your effort and the result are so way far. But at certain time, your effort going down but the result goes up. And this always, for whatever you do, it's like this. You know, you, like my English. Okay. It's rusted so much, but at the beginning I didn't understand anything. But I went to the United States. Uh, I didn't understand. And I tried to you know study a lot. I, I don't understand, but one day, all of a sudden, I could start understanding. It's maybe a Japanese or something to say. Yeah. All of a sudden, every day, one day, one last thing I show you. There is a, say this is a lake. In this lake, one flower. This flower every day gets double. Okay? First day one, second day two, two flowers. Third day four flowers. Just like this. One one flower breaks to two. Two flower four. Something like that. So for this lake. Well, filled with this flower in 100 days. So, how many days it takes to fill the half of the lake? 50? Everybody thinks 50? Action? Wait. No. No. <laughs> it's too simple. It's going to be maybe 15 days. 15 days? 20. No. What? One flower breaks to two. Okay. Every day. Each day. Breaks two. I give you the answer. Okay. This is very important. You have to know. Okay. To fill the half of the lake is, takes 99 days. Because in one day it spreads in two, right? You understand? Everybody understands this? 99 days, half. Okay. Then 
another day doubles. So it feels the important thing is from here. Okay, so it takes 99 days to fill the half of the lake. Quarter of the lake, how many days? 98. 98, yes, because it doubles. Right? You understand that? Okay. <coughs> More important thing is one eighth. How many days? 97 days. Okay. <laughs> one sixteenth. 96. One thirty. <laughs> 95. What I'm talking about is first 90 days, nothing happens. It seems nothing happens. It seems nothing happens at the first 90 days. And all of a sudden things start changing. This is natural class because it doubles, doubles. This is, this is natural class. And if you know that, so much effort you put in, at the beginning nothing happens, still you can continue doing it because it happens like this. But most of the people, their mistake, they're making a mistake, is because always they quit around here. They put effort, nothing happens, oh maybe I, I don't have talent, I can, I'm, not, I'm not good for this, you know. Always, whatever you do, always you quit around here. Just before things start changing, things start moving, people quit here. So you have, you, you cannot quit. If you know this, you can see the dynamic powers of, you know, 90 days. <laughs> Which means about three months. But this is like you put the full commitment and full energy into it. about three months start changing. But you know, if not, it takes a little bit more time. But it's you decide how much effort you put in. But uh, maybe sometimes in Japan they said stick on your rock for three years. Whatever you do, three years you put the effort, then you get the basics. I'm going to have to close it down. We've had our hour, <laughs> our time has come. Opportunity 
that's presented uh, with this company and that will allow anyone that joins to make sizable income or any income and also to fulfill your dreams. So without too much talking on my part, uh, you must follow. <laughs> you're not going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, since here today we talk about Natural E Plus, uh, like we talked about a little bit, uh, Natural E Plus is uh, started on January 2000, so uh, about seven years. Uh, and how it started and uh, it used to have uh, only one product called Super Lupin which one this one is uh, 10,000 10, yen a bottle uh, only one product and then their turnover is uh, last year uh, which is how much US um, three, three hundred eighty million. Is that US dollars? Yeah, eighty million yen. Three hundred eighty million US dollars. About more than that. Yeah. So, uh, which is amazing, and uh, this product uh, was last two years the world's most sold. Supplement in one item. It was last year, last year and the year before. And the year before, it yeah. was the most sold product so, sold, mm -hmm. supplement sold in Japan. Japan. Uh, world, worldwide, worldwide. Yeah. Wow. In this network marketing, in network marketing world. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, the company has been grown, growing. Quite rapidly, mm -hmm. and that this company successfully success success in Japan. Uh, but now the, the good thing is, from starting from this year, September, uh, this company goes to Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia, and Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, they are expanding was outside of Japan. And so, uh, today is this English seminar, it's, which is first time we are trying. And, uh, but anyway, English speakers would have uh, great opportunities to introduce these products to outside of Japan and uh, getting uh, quite great business chance. Which, uh, was which happened seven years ago to me almost the same thing would happen to you as well sure and, and let me just reiterate in that seven years time I mean, we've already mentioned uh, Koji was able to amass for himself about uh, Yozen Man a month which is about four hundred thousand dollars a month just in the country of Japan so we're talking about um, natural plus going outside of Japan which of course makes for a bigger market mm -hmm. for the English speakers that are new to this and come into this now. That's right, right. that's right, that's right. Uh, anyway, about the product itself, uh, the super routine is Caltamine uh, cal 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 yeah. uh, supplement, which I think you should explain. <laughs> okay, the well, a supplement, uh, and you have the paper, I think, before you. That talks about the product. Um, Who's this on? Yeah, I think on the table there. Is, there's a paper. There's a paper there. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So um, you see there. It talks about superlutein. Superlutein is an all-natural supplement extract from fruits and vegetables. And there's the list below. Um, we have what is lutein. Lutein is, uh, let's put it up here. I spelled it right. Excuse me, backwards. But lutein is uh, a natural 
enzyme or natural um, antioxidant that's found in most leafy vegetables. And this um, you can get from your spinach, from lettuce, from, but mostly from spinach and uh, leafy, green leafy vegetables, also from egg yolks. Lutein is good for the eyes. Uh, primarily, it's really, it's actually, lutein is found in the body naturally as well. But as you get older, your body depletes lutein. So we get it back through our green vegetables and green spinach. Um, the spinach is um, the most source for lutein, the, the biggest source for lutein. Also, it, I have color codes here. One of the color codes is the green, which we just talked about. And that's where spinach comes in at. Let me step aside here so you can see. The green. On the bottom is, next is red. This is all that sends super lutein. Everything here I'm mentioning is in super lutein. The red is your tomatoes. And out of the tomatoes, you get, well, let's put here, it's the lutein. Out of the tomatoes, you get lycopene. Uh, yeah. lycopene. And what is lycopene? As you can see, there's another strong antioxidant. Antioxidants are natural uh, ingredients that help ward off what destroys us, what makes us sick. Um, oxid oxidizing is like rust, and that is what happens to us. Too much oxidation in our body, and we start either joints start hurting, backs start hurting. So antioxidants come in, and it destroys that oxidation. It kind of rids our body of it. As you can see, the lycopene is good for, this is good for liver, it's good for the liver, it's good for women's breasts, you know, you've heard of breast cancer in women, women's breasts. It's also good for um, the men's prostate. Okay? So that's the red. Also, there's the yellow. And the yellow you have in super lutein is the pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin is carries with it the beta carotene. I think I spelled that wrong. I put an O here. Okay. The beta carotene is most important pro uh, protocer for vitamin A, meaning it helps the vitamin A activate in our bodies. That's what beta carotene does, and it's also an antioxidant, and it helps in preventing cancer and other diseases. In Okay. There's also another color code I use here, it's the dark yellow. And I use these color codes because everything, if you notice, all of these colors are also part of your rainbow. So I kind of say that super lutein works with the rainbow or the, you know, with our natural um, uh, vegetables and fruits that are, you can kind of associate with the rainbow. The carrots come in with the dark yellow, not even with the orange, with the dark yellow. And of course, we all know carrots are good for eyes, but the carrots have the alpha carotene. The alpha carotene. It's R O T E N. And the alpha carotene, as it says here, is a part of the carotenoid family. Um, it's abundant and it's, it's a good carotenoid for a healthy diet. It works in uh, it works with vitamin A as well. So Procure for vitamin A also. So both of these help with vitamin A. And a Procure means that it just helps the vitamin A works in our body. Okay. This is just speaking of super lutein. Moving on from there, we have the dark orange, which is which is the mango. Dark orange, which is
which is the mango. All this is in superlutein. Mango has the zeaxin. Zeaxin. And that protects the eye's sensitive cells. Okay? Then there's the purple, as well as help the eye repair itself. Then there's the purple. And you keep an eye on these colors because they all relate to what's in the super lutein, as well as I always see the colors of the rainbow. There's the cassius, uh, cassius berries. And the cassius berries are rich in polyphenols. Polyphenols are known to have cancer fighting principles. Polyphenols are being talked about. If you do a search on the internet about polyphenols, you'll see that many universities are talking about polyphenols because it fights cancer. It helps fight cancer. Um, and it works fast through the body. The cassius poly polyphenols also help remove the accident. Active oxygen. And the last thing that we can talk about is the DHA. DHA is a food enzyme that's found in fish, usually in fish brains, or uh, actually, fish is, is found in fish, but not in fish brains, but throughout the fish. Fish is known as a brain food, if you remember mom and dad telling you it's a brain food. And the reason why it's called brain food is because DHA works well with our brains and synapses in our head. Um, it helps in the decline, it helps in the decline of brain cells, um, the neurons and memories, and it keeps from, it keeps the aging down, keeps our aging down, and, our, and it helps with our mental function, okay? Then there's a lot of vitamins that we can talk about. There's the vitamin E I have down there. Vitamin E. Vitamin B1. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin. Vitamin B6. And vitamin B12. So I'll bring Koji back, but this is just to show you what's in super lutein. And for the seven years or for the six years that Naturally Plus was just using super lutein, why super lutein became so popular. And why, uh, in that short time, uh, people started noticing the results of super lutein because of all the, uh, the, the properties that it has and the ingredients that it has. Now we have is a meal. Can you tell us a little about this meal, Koji? Okay. <clears throat> First of all, uh, the super lutein's ingredients are, uh, as exp uh, explained, uh, which basically is uh, colored vegetables. Uh, if, you have, if you take a you know, darker colored vegetable, which is good for your body, which has been told, mm -hmm. but uh, medically, uh, scientifically, it is proved on uh, 1995, uh, and uh, which, as uh, Dino said, uh, which is antioxidant. Uh, most of the <coughs> ingredients are talk talking about anti antioxidant uh, ingredients which like he said uh, well, uh, we, we call it free radicals free which, radicals. which is uh, the cause of the disease like 92 more than 92 percent of the disease are caused by the uh, free radicals so uh, medically they are now looking into uh, how to reduce free radicals, uh, which is a uh, key, key word now. Uh, anyway, super lutein uh, contains uh, so many antioxidants, uh, which basically <coughs> is to 
reduce the chance of the disease, uh, but also to uh, how do you call um, getting old, <laughs> uh, de uh, decrease, decreasing yeah. old age. Yeah, right. Age, that's right. right. Uh, we call it uh, uh, anti-aging. Aging. That's right. Okay. The key word was anti-aging. I I Okay, which is which is which is uh, which. Which is, uh, you know, a pretty good words for the ladies, especially. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, because because the free radicals are killing the, the, the cells of our bodies and uh, uh, damaging and uh, cause uh, rusting and uh, eventually uh, causes the disease. Uh, trying to reduce it, that means less the disease and uh, this aging. Okay? Uh, now, the Izumiyo, starting from this uh, April, were launched in natural class, which is, this is just the water, but contains a lot of uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen-rich water, which uh, how, how did it develop was, uh, there, there was, in, in the whole world, there is the, something called miracle water, uh, which the most, in, the most famous one is in, a, in a France, uh, called Ludo, uh, which uh, is uh, kind of a religion-related place, you know, for Christians especially it's well known and that once you drink that water uh, people who, who had a terminal disease get cured or things like that that's why they are called miracle water uh, which uh, Lurudo is the most famous one but the, the, there's a few other places uh, such as uh, in Mexico uh, there is a place called Tracote and also in Germany, uh, there is a place called uh, uh, Nodena. Mm -hmm. And also in Pakistan, North Pakistan, there is a kingdom of Funza. Uh, there is a very famous water, uh, Miracle Water, mm -hmm. uh, which really, you know, like a terminal cancer or AIDS or other diseases, uh, which the, the hospital, the doctors said, cannot cure anymore, but uh, actually once they drink those waters, and they, have, they, they experience the miracles. So many people, like five, six million people goes there every year and uh, try to, you know, that, the last chance for their life and they get better. So they studied about it scientifically, what is in it. And they find it out all those four water, miracle waters that contains way more hydrogen than the normal water. So uh, they figured, okay, so the hydrogen uh, is the key for this miracle. <coughs> what happened <coughs> is that uh, as they drink those miracle water, uh, they contain a lot of hydrogen, but uh, the, they try to, you know, kind of like put it in a bottle and send it and to all over the world and uh, ask the people who, uh, who have the disease or the trouble to drink it. But they send it and they drink it, but nothing happened. And they tried to find out why it was that because of the hydrogen. Once they, they, they found it from the like Urudo, they have lots of hydrogen. But once they send it, the hydrogen is gone because the atom of hydrogen is the smallest in the world. So they, the hydrogen goes through the containers, you know, going up. So they cannot 
uh, put in the uh, packages and contains the hydrogen inside. So the Natural Aid Plus had uh, successfully put the lots of hydrogen into this chair pack, uh, which uh, say Rudo. I don't know how you spell it.
So hydrogen and uh, and uh, free radicals get together becomes H2O, which is a water. So it becomes a water and uh, getting out from your body. So if you drink this meal, <coughs> hydrogen water, if your body contains a lot of free radicals, you may have to go to the bathroom quite often or you may sweat a lot and get it out. Okay. Uh, anyway, because hydrogen atom is the smallest, the, the, the hydrogen can go anywhere in your body. Naturally plus superlutein was great product, but because this is from the food, the atom size called molecular weight is quite big. So it stays in your body but cannot go through everywhere because it's quite big. Uh, imagine like uh, super lutein cells about this big, uh, but the hydrogen atoms are more or less like that. So cannot can go through in everywhere. And uh, also one thing I worried about was like if you take supplement too much, it's not really good for your body because in order to get get it out, you uh, the the <coughs> supplement has to digest and go through the liver, kidney, and has to go through go out. Uh, so it has to, the kidney or river has to overwork. But uh, hydrogen, because it, it is the smallest, you take it, go through whole body in about 30 minutes. And if it's uh, over hydrogen, then the, the hydrogen itself goes through your body, and through your breast, and going up. So it has no problem, you know, how, no matter how much you take, uh, it, it you know, exceeded the amount of hydrogen would go out and uh, no harm for your body. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing, the good thing about hydrogen is the hydrogen's work is to uh, fix the broken DNA. So, which means that the broken cells, broken DNA is fixed while you are sleeping and that means, I said anti-aging, the super lutein was focusing on anti-aging, but actually Ismail is reverse aging because it's going to fix the cells, fix the DNA so it would reverse your age they said if you take one ismium a day probably you will become younger about five years do you take the Yes, indeed. <laughs> Actually, yes, indeed. What happened was that um, Izumiya, take Izumiya. So you take one, then become five years younger. So if you take two, maybe ten years younger. <laughs> <laughs> become baby. <laughs> uh, actually, lots. Uh, already, lots of uh, people are experiencing it. Especially the ladies are crazy about this, and uh, they are actually. You can drink it, or you can put it on your face. Uh, actually, your wrinkles become reduced. And, you know, uh, really works like kind of cosmetics. Uh, some of the ladies are very crazy about it, you know, they studied about it and uh, the makeup artists, they studied about it and they put the
kind of like face pack with this amazing things are happening actually. And also, not only the outside, but inside as well. Especially for this, I don't really want to talk about it in front of the ladies, but for the men, <laughs> it really happens amazing things. <laughs> Use our imagination. Well, couple, couple, last, month, last month, I met this old man. 84 years man. and he was so glad to have his meal. And he and his wife, his wife is 80 years old. And, well, it's not only for the men, even the ladies uh, in works. And they said, in 20 years time, <laughs> we loved each other so good. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine 80 years old and 80, 84 years old couples wow. making love, which is good for, for the world. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I, at the beginning, I talked about the Funza, Kingdom of Funza. Uh, their, their miracle water is uh, quite getting popular because. They are the one of the, how do you call it, the uh, oldest people are living, mm -hmm. pop, the oldest population, and mm -hmm. average uh, age. Uh, there, there's so many over 100 years old people there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the amazing thing is, less than 100 years old, people don't get sick. Because they 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 are all drinking the, the water, the water. And more amazing thing is the men over hundred years old having a child. Wow. wow. <laughs> My God. So their their great great grandson is smaller than their <laughs> their son. <laughs> size <laughs> Anyway, things like that happening. And uh, hydrogen water uh, is actually the, the, the hydrogen water is not popular in outside of Japan. Okay, nobody is making. The research, the hydrogen water's research is Japan is the leading country. Uh, actually, the supplements, United States or other countries are, you know, way advanced than Japan. The hydrogen water is only in Japan. So, imagine if this goes to your countries or outside of Japan. What's going to happen is the amazing business opportunities there. So that's about the products. Okay. Uh, anyway, already Naturally Plus has been proven. The super lutein itself uh, would guarantee the uh, business success in outside of Japan as well. But with using its meal from now on strategy, whatever you imagine could happen. And uh, like Dino said, uh, luckily uh, I happen to earn the most in this kind of business you know, uh, style, uh, which I really think it is not because I am, but I, I was very lucky to join this company, but uh, six, and six, seven years ago, the foundations and the infrastructure of this business is so messy. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, business teaching method and uh, 
you know, things are getting really organized and we can teach how to do this kind of business and uh, there's so many seminars in Japan there's more than 50 seminars every day somewhere in Japan is held so now I think if you really grab the chance and uh, dedicated your energy uh, if you commit to do business I'm sure you can be quite successful with this business and uh, I'm sure there's a way over my income from now on uh, the new people new members who join this business would earn I think so and also if you go to other countries, the tax is much, much lower than <laughs> Japan. <laughs> I think they would get much more asset than I do. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's that's talk about, about let's talk about making money. Okay. Now uh, let let me tell you about the marketing side. Okay. Uh, MLM, multi-level marketing or network marketing. Uh, it's quite famous worldwide now and uh, there, there's less people nowadays uh, like me before joining the MLM company which had uh, quite negative you know, uh, thoughts about MLM uh, 10 years ago maybe a lot of people but now a now, lot more people are accepting this kind of new business. Uh, anyway, the most famous companies in MLM is, I think, Amway. Amway. I think most of the people heard about Amway business uh, for New Skin or, or some other companies, maybe you know. But uh, there was a few difficulties those companies because like I had a negative feelings about MLM companies uh, like I said before I heard many things from many people uh, there's a lot of opportunities in this business uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be successful using this business so why don't you do it together I heard that but the people who said that after a while, they quit it, or, or they lost it, the money, you know, they failed in the business. So that's why I couldn't, I wasn't convinced about this business. The problem was, uh, you had to sell. Okay, you have to buy the stock and you have to sell. But here, naturally plus, if you want to join, uh, with this business, uh, you what you have to do is to write it down. You have to become a member to buy this product, and you you have to become a member, and you have to order directly to Naturally Plus, and they will send it to you directly. So if you introduce to your friend, you cannot sell. She or he, this person has to join the member and he has to directly order to Naturally Plus and buy. You know. So, all you do is you become a consumer okay? yeah, and you buy directly from the company. You can only, well, you buy one product and only for you to use it. Okay? So you cannot sell, you don't sell the products, this is the difference, uh, normally you buy, okay? uh, for example, like most of the company, the selling price of this one item is about, let's say, 1,000,000 yen, and you become a member, you, you can buy 1,000,000 yen, and you sell it to your friend, so you become the difference of 5,000 yen becomes your profit. That's, that's the business, right? 
normal business. And that's how you start in the business. But here, everybody buys in Ichimayen. I buy Ichimayen, he buy Ichimayen, you buy Ichimayen. So, so, so no difference. So you don't sell. All you do is introduce. Uh, if you are interested in this product, just buy. You know, how to buy? I teach you to fill in the application form. That's it. So you don't sell. Because you don't sell, you don't have the stock. When you do the business, stock kills you. Okay. Uh, you have to put a lot of money into the stock. And if you cannot sell, if you are not a good salesman, the stock will kill you. you uh, uh, cash flows and so on. A lot of this kind of business, of course, you sell means you and your friend, the seller and the customer's uh, relations. So once you, your friend, you start this product, you may, your friend may call you and, hey, you know, I need more, so can you deliver it? Something like that. You have to deliver it. Uh, this one in here, Japan, Yamato will deliver it for you, so you don't deliver it. And collecting the money, you see, collecting the money, you don't do this either, okay? uh, because you pay for the company. Or once they deliver, you exchange the money and the product, so you don't deliver the money. And the biggest difference between other company and Natural Plus is uh, uh, normally other companies, <coughs> MLM company, they have a title. This title, so-called title, uh, which once you want to do the business with this, you have to get a title such as like uh, uh, executive or supervisor or direct distributor so, so, so and so called title. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In order to get the title you have to like sell maybe 100 yen uh, or 40 yen, 50 yen, 30 yen it's it, the, the the amount is varies, but anyway, you have to uh, sell certain amount of the products within certain period of the time. That's how you get the title, and uh, this volume becomes bigger and bigger. You get higher title, you know, like uh, uh, Paul executive or. Ruby executive, diamond executive, uh, blue diamond, or so on. You know, somehow it's uh, kind of uh, stones. <laughs> anyway, uh, actually, people go for that because you know when you want to do the business, you want to go for the top title, you know, so they keep going. But, but you know. A lot of people are not good salesperson. Okay. So, for example, at, in order to to achieve to get the title, you you have to sell certain amount at, 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 uh, at the certain period of time. So you keep selling it, keep selling it, calling your friends and uh, asking them to buy. The supplement or shampoo or or, or fry pans or whatever, okay? and and then they go on, but but then at the time period comes, okay, which is normally end of the month, okay, end of the month. For example, uh, you have to sell for like new skin. You have to sell about 30 every month for four months, for example. 
you achieve certain amount, maybe 20 million, but at the end, you are short of 10 million. Okay? I try to sell it, but you can't sell. The period comes, okay? uh, the day comes, the end comes. Once you miss it, everything is, you have to start all over again. So, which means you have to give up your effort. Okay, so what everybody thinks is, okay, I'm short of Jumayin, uh, but I don't want to lose everything. So, what I can do is buy Jumayin myself. Then you can get the title. And that happens to other people as well. And every month you short up a little bit. So you keep buying it, and at the end you find out your house is a whole bunch of stocks, <laughs> and your income is less than you are buying, so you lose, uh, and your money doesn't last that long. So end up like a whole bunch of stocks, and a lot of debts, and you lose. Yeah, which causes more bad experience with people with network marketing. Network marketing, that's hard. So Natural Plus has no title. I'm doing it, you know, for seven, almost seven years, six and a half years. And I actually earn the most of the money in uh, this company. But I'm same title as the, you know, the, the people who are studying. You know, it's just a difference of how much I, we earn, but the title, there is no title, so it's the same thing. Okay, so which means, which means in Naturally Plus, some people are succeeded, but some people don't succeed, okay, of course. Uh, but the never happens is nobody lose money. So to put it another way, what you pay for is what you get. Yeah. It's no different than ordering something by catalog. Same thing. Because if you don't want it, you quit anytime. You stop. You you tell them to stop deliberately. Then they don't they don't deliver. But unless you said that, every month one product is sent to you automatically. And if you like it, you take it. If you don't, you can stop it anytime. And you don't buy the stocks uh, you don't, because you don't sell or you don't have the titles. You can never lose money. Okay. So one more, thing, one more time I will repeat you. Some people will succeed. succeed. Some people don't, but nobody loses. Nobody loses money. Nobody gets stocks either. So I figured, okay, uh, because I I am a businessman. I did the business, uh, government business. I invest a lot of money. I have to buy a lot of stocks for at least three months. Stocks, okay. Uh, government business is tough. Very tough. I'm not recommending it. <laughs> you have to open a shop. It cost me like Sanzenman, Yonsenman, each shop. I used to have 17 shops. Okay, how much stock I had? Okay, uh, now it's what? Uh, July. Already making next year's products. I have to. And next year it's gonna be hot or cool. I don't know. <laughs> and colors, pink, white, black, orange, purple. The new pink. <laughs> <laughs> what color would go next year? I don't know. Yeah. And sizes, small size, medium size, large, extra large, extra small. What am I gonna do? You know? <laughs> yeah. So, but that. There's always risk in the business. Uh, so, okay, Amway, New Skin, which is a good business, maybe. Uh, they have a maybe good product. 
uh, yes, opening compared to opening a shop like me, way less risks. Okay, you don't have to spend so much money, but still, for most of the people investing Kyakumae, Gojumae every month, Nijumae, Sanjumae, it's a high risk for most of the people who don't commit. their life. So that's why a lot of people fail and end up losing a lot of money. But in natural trust you cannot fail. You can either win or not win. But you cannot lose. That's a best thing about natural trust. That's why I could I could ask any one of my friends, try. Try for six months. And if you don't uh, feel like you can do this, just quit it by then. By then, maybe you become a little bit healthier, a little bit younger, a little bit, you know, stronger, and get back to normal life, you know, original life. So there's no reason. Try it. Why don't you try it? That's what I say. Uh, regarding the how you make money, I mean, you know, uh, how it becomes, how much you can earn, maybe you could ask Dino later. Uh, today I don't talk about it, but uh, that's also one thing I tell you. Normally, this is also a big difference. Uh, traditional network marketing. You have to talk to your friend. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you have to, you know, uh, ask them to join the member and you know, grows like all over you. That's right. You center everybody go and everybody do the same thing like this. Okay, like. More people, more and more, you know, 100, 200, 300 people try to join, ask them to join, okay? And this is kind of tough because most of the people don't know so many people. So many. And natural class is only two ways, left and right. If you introduce one, it goes left. Two goes right. Three, you can introduce three, but already feel two, two sides. So the third person goes here. Fourth person here. Fifth, sixth, like this, going under. To feel two ways only. Okay? And this way, what's going to happen is that you have to know so many people and you have to be able to talk to so many so many so many people which means uh, you have to be kind of like you know um, extreme extremely uh, capable person you have to be right you know like two three hundred people you talk and first of all, you have to know three, four, five hundred pe uh, people. And that's amazing for you, right? Extremely capable person. But no worry. If you are an extremely capable person, your friend also may be an extremely capable person. Because no worry, you know, the friends are balanced. If you are very capable, your friend also may be capable. So, because so many people, so many people, and, and those extremely capable person knows other extremely capable person as well. We call in Japan, Ruiba <laughs> Tomoyo. How do you say it in English? Rui Tomo no Hosoku. Anyway. Anyway, it's, it's a 
you know, if you are, if you are capable, your friend may be capable as well. It balances. Okay. Now, bad news is if you are not so capable, if you are not, if you are less capable. Unfortunately, if you are less capable person, then your friend is also less capable person. And if you are talking to less capable person, less capable person would not talk to even one less capable person. And it, it stops and it doesn't expand. So that's, that's it, you know. In network marketing, traditional network marketing, if you cannot talk to less than 100 or 200 person friends, you will never be successful. So at the beginning, there's a very high hurdle. So, well, maybe you know 10 friends, 20 friends, but not too many friends. Then try try not to join this kind of business. Yeah. Naturally plus, even if you are less capable person, you may have two friends. Okay? <laughs> two at least. If you have two friends. And even your friends are even less, less capable, <laughs> still, they might have two friends. So actually, this kind of business is built for very capable person. But naturally plus is built for less capable person. And they, the opportunity is open for less capable person, can make an unbelievable result with this. That's why, like I said before, that Obasan making such a, so much money, unbelievable. Because she looked less, 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 less capable person <laughs> to me. If, if, if she tried this one, in three months time, she, she may get a huge death and finished. But in natural class, you have a chance to, she has a chance to uh, earn a lot of money as well. So this is the difference of uh, natural class and uh, traditional network marketing. We'll have to close it here, okay? But um, just to give you a preview of a little about the products and the business, um, he really hasn't gone too much into the business and how the money uh, is made. Next week I'll have a seminar here and I'd like to invite you back and I'll explain as those that can come back. Rod comes pretty far. But if you can, come back next week and um, I'll break it down and we'll talk more about the process of how, how easy it is to not lose with Naturally Plus. So I want to thank, thank you, folks, for coming out today. <laughs>